everyone welcome back to Mika Made It. If you're joining my channel for the first time, welcome. Um, please make sure of course that you like, share, and subscribe so that way you can always stay up to date with what I'm doing. Um, I hope you guys are all well and enjoying your day. My day was, my day was okay. Um, I actually went to the dentist today. You know what? Like every time you go to the for me, it's not fun. Like I don't like going to the dentist. And I know that probably seems super like, you know, whatever, but I don't like going. Um, so I I I do of course appreciate and I'm really happy that I can go. But like every time you go, it's like them always like like not saying that not 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 that they judge you, but like they're all, you're just le always leaving with something that needs to get done, you know, and I don't like that, but whatever. So anyways, guys, that was my day. I hope you had a better one. Um, my teeth are so tender. So because it's Valentine's Day coming up soon, I don't know what y'all situation is like, but regardless of whatever it is, and maybe you don't celebrate that Valentine's Day, this is still a great meal option, but just because of the festivities, I'm decked out in my signature color. And um, oh, I just wanna say thank you to the gifter for these lovely earrings because they are fire. And um, yes, to the meal, to the meal. So we are gonna be making dinner for two, um, a spicy jerk mushroom with gungo peas rice. So I'm excited to give this recipe a try. Um, it's my first time doing it and the sauce is gonna be made from scratch. So let's go make this meal guys. So we're going to add some seasoning powder to some boiling water and then we're going to add in our oyster mushrooms to make them boil for about maybe 5 to 8 minutes. And then while that's going, we're going to go ahead and um, create our dry mixture. And from that dry mixture um, bowl, you're going to take about mm, one third to a half a cup of, of the dry mixture to create your wet batter. And then for the consistency, you wanted to have it like a crepe mix. So that's about maybe like, again, one third cup of oat milk or whatever milk you want. And then we're going to do the gungo peas rice. So here you see we have our peas boiling with some seasoning. And I added some coconut milk with some like scallion and obviously scotch pot pepper <laughs> with one cup of washed rice. And of course, about a tablespoon of butter. That's unsalted butter, by the way. And then now we're going to, of course, dredge our oyster mushrooms so that way we can fry them. So very simple process. We just wet batter, dry batter, wet batter, dry batter until you're all done. And they should look something like this. And then we're gonna set that. Hey guys, so I know I don't make a cameo in the middle of the video, but off camera, I've been eating these wonderful cherries. Look how nice they are. So I had to come on camera and show you all that because I was like, wow, this is good. So this is what I'm doing when I'm eating off camera. Well, I'm sorry, not eating off camera. I'm off camera, I'm eating off camera. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> so to your heated pan, you're going to take your oyster mushrooms and let them fry for about three minutes on each side or until golden brown. Um, these do fry up very nicely, so just make sure you watch the pan though. And of course, our delicious jerk barbecue sauce. So this sauce is fire. Um, if you're looking for a barbecue sauce and you know didn't know like don't know where to turn, please look no further because this barbecue sauce is actually the one to to try well to try and make yourself. And it um, is quite a big batch. I had like a lot left over, so I was able to like make other dishes with it. So it saves you time and energy as well.
Once all of your ingredients are combined, just take it over to a heated pan and cook it for another 8 to 10 minutes or until the sauce is thickened. And it should look something like that. We also have our rice that's all done, which came out so good. And the last step is just to cover your mushrooms in the jerk barbecue sauce. So here is the finished outcome. Enjoy! Here's our jerk barbecue mushrooms with our gungu peas and rice. So I have been nibbling it on it a little bit since I've been off camera. <laughs> Tastes really good, but I'm gonna give it a taste test to show you guys that you know, I'm not lying. Mm -hmm. You can really taste the coconut in the rice and the sauce is like so good. So guys, if you're looking for something new to make, make sure you try this jerk barbecue mushroom recipe. Bye and I'll see you next time for me to make it. Hi guys, I came back to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh my gosh, so rude. Happy Valentine's Day everybody, I hope you enjoy the day. Thank you.